I'm Costas Duzines. I'm a professor of law and philosophy at the University of London, where I also founded the Birkbeck Institute for the Humanities. The major idea behind the work that I have done, my books and so on, is that a law without justice is like a body without spirit. It's a dead letter. It cannot inspire, it cannot really help create a better life. I've published three books, The End of Human Rights, Human Rights and Empire, Critical Jurisprudence, which have brought out the paradoxical nature of human rights. On the one hand, it is a discourse and a practice that people use all over the world to defend themselves, but on the other hand, human rights have also been used by governments and by major companies and corporations in order to impose ways of organization which are totally opposed to any conception of human dignity and human equality. Each one of us is a world, a cosmos. Now, what do I mean by that? Every person is a unique human being, is a unique and unrepeatable being in the world. But this world of mine, you can imagine it as a globe, and I am here at the bottom, is always in contact with the world of others, intimate others, but also teachers and students and friends and even strangers in the street. To that extent, I'm always created in relations with other people. The other is always in me, and I'm always in those other people that I have come across in my life and have either created long and lasting relations, like with many people in this uh, institute, or even more passing, transient relations, walking down in the street. Critical theory, theory of many disciplinary vocations, from sociology to politics to political philosophy to philosophy to aesthetics and so on, is necessary in order to understand both what is happening in the world, but also, and even more importantly, how we can come up with a few ideas, a few thoughts, a few plans that can help us get out of this great impasse we live in. As someone said, we live in the age of monsters. We need, I think, to hugely increase our understanding, our imagination, our trust in people standing up and fighting for their rights, fighting for a change in the world. And theory prepares us for change. Any kind of critical or radical politics is thought in action. So we need theory, we need critical thought, we need the humanities precisely in order to start a process of changing this age of monsters we live in.